Boy, John Wesley Harding. John Wilkes Boy. I'm Mike. And I'm Chuck, and we are State Radio. The song Calling All Crows is about social action and a uh, call to action as well. The crows kind of symbolize the, the people of this country or this world, and it's a way to kind of bring everyone together, and we feel like there's real power in, in, uh, in numbers if we can all get on the same page collectively. And all lead our leaders in the right direction. I, I speak for myself, I guess I'm, I'm somewhat disappointed in Barack Obama after, after a year's gone by, but I still, uh, I'm still glad he's the president. You know, it's kind of up to us as the people to really hold him to a certain standard and to, and to let him know how we feel about certain issues. I think that there should be no death penalty in the States. I wish he would kind of take up there and I wish he came out stronger against Bashir and Sudan and Mugabe and Zimbabwe. I think he's wrestling with Washington. That, that is also, uh, I guess, uh, to be expected. There's lots, lots of different things, lots of local kind of grassroots organizations that we'll get involved in. So you can also carry on doing the community service when we're out of the city. The other thing is we go back to the cities, you know, every, every six months to a year, so we'll check up on you. you better keep doing it. Best way for fans to get involved is to go to callingallcrows.org and that way they can join us uh, in different cities um, depending on whatever service project we're doing. A big issue um, that we've concentrated on is the is refugee, refugee camps in Sudan and the stove project that we've been able to uh, work on for the past year. A bunch of that has to do with uh, the plight of the women in the refugee camps in, in and around Sudan. A lot of people say, uh, because of the, the fan base that comes out to our show, they know what they're in for, and it's kind of like we're preaching to the choir. But um, we've had a couple episodes where, um, you know, people give us the finger from, from the crowd because they're here to see a different band, or they're not there for, they're not really there to see us. So they, we got a tire slashed once, and, and we propped the van up on some shoddy, uh, jack and it fell on Chuck's shoulder. Yeah, yeah this one. It wasn't even a jack, it was like concrete cinder blocks. Yeah. <laughs> Some people have also said, like, hey man, I, I love your music, I hate your politics. And they're yeah. still there at the show. So Because the overwhelming majority is is kind of on board with us, we're not upset by the, the small amount of people who, who uh, turn them a blind eye towards towards the content, but our agenda isn't really to like proselytize people. It's really just to, you know, um, our, the songs are more just a form of expression, and the aftermath of that expression is, uh, you know, if we had our druthers, would be just like a dialogue, and not necessarily like you must because you're here, you must believe this. But we're just encouraging people to talk to each other, and talk to their parents, talk to their peers. There's something really cool about it being subversive as well. Right. I think the Rage Against the Machine guys have, have felt like that over the years. You know, that they, the crowd that comes to see them isn't necessarily like, uh, you know. Right, because it's music. It's not like a, it's not like a, a lecture. Right. You know? It's like, it's emotional and it's, it's something raw there. It's like, it's not always about the, the lyrical content.